Hi everyone, it's Simon from Higher Plane Games with a review for Golf Peaks, a puzzle game that takes the elements of the game of golf and puts it into a block and card based puzzle game. Uh, this is an utterly charming game, I have to say up front. I really got into the aesthetic and the design of it, but what it does is it takes your general golf course and pops it into different blocks and segments of terrain and then places cards across the bottom of the screen for you to then move forward. So some of the uh, cards sorry, will be like putts, so you'll just move straight forward. So some of it may mean that you'll actually lift off like as if you're doing a drive or an iron to then get clean air and get over something. So that might mean that you'll need it to get over say a hill, it might be to get over a sand trap or a le literally a gap in the world. So you need to play out your cards efficiently and effectively so that your ball ends up in the right place. You also need to make sure that your ball doesn't just make its way past the hole, it needs to land on the hole for it to actually go in. And that's where the terrain layout can come into play. So it might mean that actually on some of the levels you'll have to hit behind you with a, with a card that's too strong essentially so that you rebound back and end up in the right place. And that's kind of where the mechanics of uh, Golf Peaks come into play. It's never like massively brain taxing because the amount of cards that you get and the levels uh, and their layout uh, on one screen, they're relatively small. So there's only a certain amount of permutations that you can really try because you can't go diagonally. You're always going left or right. So once you've kind of worked out right, I can only go left or right and then again and again and again, like a couple of permutations it's quite easy to crack down what is actually the right answer for the level at hand. But getting there is satisfying, sufficiently entertaining and intriguing, uh, and quite relaxing as well. You aren't pushed at any particular pace or anything like that. So you can literally just chill out uh, and golf to your heart's content. I really liked how some of the golfing mechanics was played into the game though as well because alongside just general this is the what your world looks like you'll have sand traps that you can't putt out of so you have to make sure that you play a card that will give you air uh, you've got quicksand essentially which is if you end up staying on uh, finishing on that particular block then your ball will sink and it will go and I really liked what it done with the water effect so normally in golf water is bad but actually in golf peaks it's good because once you hit the water the ball will drop drop one block behind and quite often a lot of levels are set up so that you have to do that so that you tactically get your ball drop in the right block so that you can then use the follow button cards to kind of go on from there. So overall I was pleasantly surprised with Golf Peaks. It piqued my interest when I spotted it on the coming up soon on Steam and yeah I enjoyed my time with it. Relatively short, it's not going to tax your brains, but what's there is great uh, and I thoroughly recommend it if you just want something to pick up and play for a few minutes to relax in an evening. Thanks for watching, bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.